Governor Eddie Calvo at the GOP presidential convention in Cleveland says Donald Trump will do for Guam what President Obama didn't do and what Hillary Clinton won't. PNC's Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. Calvo, leading nine Guam delegates and six alternates at this GOP convention, says the winds of political change are blowing across the country. And rather than support Senator Ted Cruz, his first choice, he decided to back the GOP nominee. I would have liked to have seen Senator Cruz win, uh, as well as I, I saw some other good Republican governors that I've worked with that have run for office. But, you know, that being said, uh, Mr. Trump has won uh, based on the votes and the primaries uh, across the nation. And, and with that, it was important uh, for, for what we saw to then tie in the important issues of Guam with the Republican Party platform and with Mr. Trump's. Cruz did not back Trump in his convention speech this week after nasty and personal clashes during the primary campaign. But Calvo says any Republican would be better than Hillary Clinton, whom he calls a clone of the Obama administration. Calvo blames the outgoing administration for what he bills negligent and sometimes incompetent decisions affecting Guam, and predicts more of the same if Clinton's elected on Medicaid, earned income tax credits, visa waiver decisions, and more. As for Trump... He understands that the federal government has been overstretching their, 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 their bounds for so many years with the Obama administration. So I fully anticipate a Trump administration that they will allow in much more decision-making from either a state or a territory. Calvo says he's frustrated with the Obama White House on everything from its handling of H-1 and H-2 visas to its misplaced priorities on transgender bathroom rights. Calvo complained loudly last year about the administration's failure to adequately fund compact impact aid. The governor says the GOP platform includes a Guam suggestion to give the territories a say in the White House transition. Uh, number two is a position in the White House, a uh, special assistant to the president that would focus on the day-to-day -day affairs dealing with the territories, and that includes Guam. Uh, there are other areas there about putting full constitutional rights uh, for Guam and the territories as well. Especially for state treatment and funding and for voting rights. Calvo says the Guam delegation this year has ringside seats sandwiched between Utah and Virginia, two places that can vote for president. Still, the Guam GOP delegation has voted for president in the only forum it can, casting all nine delegate votes for Donald Trump as the party nominee. And Calvo now hopes the next president of the United States. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.